My customer, PumpCo, just placed an order for all these pump shafts, and they're expedited. So I only have a few days to model them. What's frustrating is all these shafts have similar features that I'll have to redraw over and over. I need a way to tailor and reuse these features that I can drag and drop right into my current workpiece. Let's use the SOLIDWORKS design library and see how it can help automate the easy stuff and keep PumpCo happy with shorter design times and fewer mistakes. Every one of these shafts needs a center. So let's save PumpCo's standard centers to the design library instead of redrawing each one. To set up a new library feature, I'll start a dummy part with the geometry I will need to locate with. For a center, a cylindrical boss should do. I develop my feature, making sure to use references that will translate to other parts easily. Like how my revolve cut should be made on a reference plane instead of a default plane. I also make sure that the center line of my revolve is coincident with a concentric sketch point instead of the origin. Now. I save the desired feature and any parent features to my design library and I am able to replicate this feature on all of my shaft models with a simple drag and drop. SOLIDWORKS will even display a pop-up window showing what reference geometry needs to be selected for proper placement. Design mistakes are much less likely to occur with this walkthrough style library feature, even for my most inexperienced members of my design team. This is great! I am now able to reuse this center feature as much as I need to. but. What if I wanted a different size? By adding configurations to the library part, I am able to save all the standard sizes of my centers, increasing the versatility of my library feature to be used on more of PumpCo's shafts. Here I have named the critical dimensions in my sketch, and when I right click on the smart dimension, I can select configure dimension. This will initiate a design table. While this is open, I can double click on any other smart dimensions I would like to configure and they will be added to the table. I can even add new configurations directly from the table. I'll name the table to easily modify it in the future when I am done developing it. I can now choose different sizes of centers after I drag and drop the feature into my workpiece. Now I won't have to worry about drawing any of PumpCo's standard centers and I can focus on the more complex parts of the shaft. I have all my standard centers set up in my library and now I've started on a shaft that has a non-standard center. Is all the hard work I put into building up my library centers useless for this part? Well, no. I can still use my library feature as a starting point. The components of a library feature can be modified after it is inserted into the part using the feature manager tree. If the feature is linked to the library part, SOLIDWORKS will not allow me to modify the feature from my workpiece. To break the link between the library part and the workpiece, simply edit the feature and uncheck the link to library part checkbox. I can now freely modify the library feature. Now that this center is modified from the original library feature, I don't want people to associate this non-standard center with my library features. That could cause a lot of confusion. Right-clicking on the library feature in the feature manager and selecting dissolve feature will remove all library feature icons and integrate the feature directly into your current parts workflow. So even when I need a custom feature, the design library can still be my jumpstart. There we go! My new library feature with configurations helped me to model PumpCo's stack of drawings in record time. I even have a minute to catch my breath before my next project hits my desk. Keep in mind that the design library is not limited to features. You can integrate parts, sketches, even assemblies into your design library. Plus, an upgrade to SOLIDWORKS Pro or Premium gives access to hundreds of standard fasteners and components. The design library will help your team automate the easy stuff eliminate costly mistakes on common features, and decrease design time, keeping your customers happy with shorter lead times and consistent quality. Try using a library feature in your next project and contact CATI for further mentoring and training.